a lot of history, I'll read books nowadays where someone says, oh, this person is so amazing, and I found these new documents and sources, and this person was kind of a huge deal. But especially for people who haven't heard of her, you kind of already mentioned it, but I want to talk about a very specific instance. She was basically in a play, The Two Orphans. There's a woman who is based on her in it. She actually goes to see it and is not appreciative of how she is put on the stage. But it just kind of goes back to that she was well known. This was not somebody who, hey, you found her and you found her interesting and you're making her bigger than she was. Her name was a very well known name so that if you saw somebody up on the stage, you can say, oh, that's a different name, but that's Marm up there. Absolutely. She was literally world famous. And remember this before radio and television. She died in 1894. But as she rose in prominence and wealth, and she was able, because New York was a wide open town in those Tammany years, she was able to ply her illicit trade almost entirely in the open. And so the press wrote about the lavish private apartments that she had for her family above the modest haberdashery shop on the Lower East Side, which was the front for her real business. They wrote about the exorbitant dinner parties she gave in her apartments, as coveted as anything Mrs. Astor would have given up town. They wrote about her vast silk gowns. They wrote about all the diamonds she wore. And these are not just the New York papers. She was I found clippings about her in the Cincinnati papers, the Atlanta papers, farther and farther west. And when she died in 1894, her death was covered as far away as London. So she was big news. 